Hello everyone, Salty Ixer here with the Deeper Dungeons. And today I'm bringing you a tips and tricks video on Logitech G-Hub. And what we're going to be talking about today is how to overwrite the default profile for a configured G-Hub application. So a little backstory. G-Hub can do automatic profile switching depending on what application is running. So, for example, if I'm running uh, Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon, G-Hub will detect that this program is running and automatically switch me to the Armored Core 6 default profile. Or let's say I'm running Assassin's Creed Odyssey. G-Hub will detect that I'm running Assassin's Creed Odyssey and switch me to the default profile for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And you can copy profiles around um, simply by dragging and dropping them. Let me find a good one. Okay, here's one. Oops. Did not mean to click there. If I want to add the Baldur's Gate 3 profile uh, to Armored Core 6, I can just drag it and drop it, and it will appear in Armored Core 6. And then I can rename it, um, activate it, I can delete it, which is significant to this discussion. Because if I look at the default, if I look at the default profile, I cannot delete the default profile. I can rename it. I can modify it, but I can't delete it. And the default one is the one that's always going to show up when this application is launched. I can at any time switch to the Baldur's Gate 3 profile that I copied in, but it won't automatically choose this one when I launch Armored Core 6. So how do we get around this problem? All right, first of all, let's look at the Armored Core 6 profile. Uh, I've actually renamed this to Armored Core 6. Let me, let me rename it back. It used to be named Default. And it is the default, and we know it's the default because it can't be deleted. Now let's take a look at this default profile. Um, we can see that the mouse sensitivity is set to 800. Um, I have a few things mapped on view two, like the escape key is, um, this button here, uh, which is G1, I believe G, oh, that's G9, sorry, G9. All right. So if I want to overwrite this default profile, say with um, another one, let's overwrite it with Fallout 76s. Let's take a look at Fallout 76's profile. You can see on Fallout 76 profile, I have page down, page up, map to these rear buttons. So this is the one I'm going to pick. Um, now, in order to overwrite 
the default profile for Armored Core 6 with this one. I'm going to come over here to the Assignments section, click the little lock to make this profile persistent. Then I am going to go to the Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon profile here and I'm going to unlock it and when I do that it's going to copy my Fallout 76 profile that I had made persistent into this default Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon profile. So let's look at it. We'll make it activated. Look at the mouse. Look at View 2. And here you go. You can see the buttons that I had mapped in Fallout 76 are now in the default profile for Armored Core 6. And we'll double check. It is the default profile because we can't delete it. Now, if we wanted to, we could rename this to AC6 default or whatever. But we could never delete this one. So that's how to Overwrite the default profile with another one to get around the fact that you can't delete the default profile. You can delete any other profiles that you may have assigned, but you cannot delete the default. And I hope this helps, this helps somebody. If it did, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. Thank you for watching. This has been Salty Xer with the Deeper Dungeons. If you like um, role playing games, uh, please check out my channel on Twitch, twitch.com slash Salty Thank you and have a good day.